Lesson 3, Unit 3. Schedule information. The project schedule identifies the duration of each activity and the planet start and end of the project. Information to create the schedule comes from the WBS, which has all the activities identified for the project. The quality and completeness of the WBS will determine the quality of the schedule. The duration of an activity is the amount of time needed to complete an activity or work effort. The estimation should take into account the number of people available for the project. For example, if an activity takes one week for one person, the estimate might become two weeks if the person works only half time. This information is important at the moment of determining the total time needed for the project based on the resources available. All activities in the WBS need to have an estimate of the time it will take to complete them. This estimate becomes part of the project schedule, which is the total time to complete the project. Each activity identified in the WBS will have an estimated start and end date. Each activity will also have a dependency relationship with other activities to create a chronological order among the activities. Using information from the WBS, a project team will create estimates of duration for each activity and its chronological dependencies. The table shows an example of the time estimates for each activity in the WBS, including the start and end date and the activity dependencies. The PMIS should have the functionality to show in graphical format the schedule information. This facilitates its analysis and understanding. An important diagram used to manage the schedule is the network diagram. A network diagram is a graphical representation of the sequence of project activities and the dependencies among them. The network diagram is read from left to right. The complex and dynamic nature of development projects make this tool especially valuable because it forces the project team to address potential interactions of project activities that can be easily missed otherwise. Another benefit of a network diagram is the identification of the project critical path, which is the longest path in the network diagram. In this diagram, the project's critical path is the path with the longest duration. In this example, the critical path is the series of activities marked in red, with a total of 135 days. Any delays in those activities will result in a delay for the project. Activities 1.2.2 and 1.2.3 have a lack of 20 days compared with activities 1.31 and 1.32. That means that those activities can be delayed for up to 20 days without delaying the project. Another popular method to display and monitor a project schedule is the Gantt chart. It is a popular method used in most project scheduling software. The chart was developed by Henry Gatt in 1911, and since then has been incorporated with some improvements to the field of project management. As a graphical representation of activities as segments of a time scale, the Gantt chart helps plan and monitor project progress. The left side of the Gantt chart is a column with a list of all activities or tasks. The horizontal axis is a time scale, expressed either in weeks or months. In a Gantt chart, each activity takes up one row. The dates run along the top on increments of days, weeks, or months. Rows of bars in the Gantt chart show the start and end dates of each activity in the project. Activities might run sequentially, in parallel, or they might even overlap. Monitoring the project schedule is mainly focused on determining the current status of the project. The project manager will determine what factors, internal or external, have resulted in changes to the planned schedule. The project manager will determine the impact on the schedule and identify the necessary actions to bring the schedule back to its original status. For example, an activity was estimated to take 30 days to complete, but an external factor caused a delay of two days. If the activity is on the critical path, the entire project will be delayed by two days. The project manager will need to evaluate how critical the delay is and find alternatives such as adding resources in the critical part in order to reduce the time needed and bring the project completion to the planned date.